Hello everyone. Welcome to your own channel Food Tech Network. Since many of our viewers and students have requested to make a video on gate examination, so here we are with it. So without wasting the time, let us see what all you are going to look today in the video. So in today's video, we will discuss about the gate examination from scratch to top. We will begin by discussing about the basic details of gate examination like when it, is it conducted, who conducts it. Then we will begin with the uh, eligibility, talk about two basic types of gate examination that is XE and XL. Then we will look forward to the exam pattern, the cutoff uh, which is generally seen uh, in the last previous years, the syllabus and the colleges to be sought for the gate examination. Now what is gate? So basically GATE stands for Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. It is uh, uh, given by the graduate students which becomes its eligibility also and hence the name Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. Now when we were in class uh, 11th and 12th, most of us must have looked after the examinations like GE and NEET and we knew that it is conducted by National Testing Agency. Now who conducts GATE? GATE is basically conducted by the parent organization of National Education Board along with the pristine institutes like various IITs, IIT Kanpur, Kharagpur, Delhi, Roorkee along with Indian Institute of Science. It is conducted every year in the month of February and the online applications for GATE examinations begin by the month of August. Means the online applicants can apply by the month of August and the exam is conducted in the month of February. The uh, important property or advantage of giving GATE is that unlike other examination, you do not have any limit of attemptation. You can keep giving GATE any number of times you want and the score is valid for up to three years. So it is not like that it is a universal or lifelong examination uh, like 12th or something else. Uh, once given, it is applicable only up to three years. Beyond that, you will need to re-give it if you want to utilize its marks. Now, what is the eligibility criteria for a GATE examination? So this is the point where most of the students get confused. Many people say that it is only for engineering students. Even among science, people say that BSc can't give or BS can't give. So it is not like that. Any graduate student who has a degree of graduation degree or a bachelor degree in science, arts or commerce is applicable for giving GATE examination. And even if you have a long term degree and but have completed the third year of it, still you are applicable for the gate examination so yes if, if whether you are a btech student bsc bcom ba any student you can definitely appear for the gate examination and even during the btech at the third year you can give it now what are the two main types of gate examination gate is conducted in two basic themes or patterns See, uh, most of the students are either categorized into the engineering kind of subjects, they are more interested in mechanics, thermodynamics, physics, etc. And a few section of students are interested in biological sciences like say uh, microbiology, biochemistry, zoology, botany, etc. So GATE has given you the choice to opt for your favorite subject or your favorite theme. XC is for engineering version of GATE and XL is the life science version. What is common in both of these papers is the number of subjects. Both have four subjects out of which two are compulsory which you need to take at any cost and two are option which have a unique queue of subjects out of which you need to select the subjects of your own choice. The compulsory subjects in XE are general aptitude and mathematics and in XL is general aptitude along with chemistry. Now let us see what are the optional subjects in both of them. For XC, the third subject, although food technology, uh, as you can see in your skin, has been added into the optional subjects. But since you are a food technology graduate or a food tech student, you need to take it definitely as a third subject. And the optional subject or fourth subject uh, is confined to other subjects like material science, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, solid mechanics and atmospheric and oceanic science all depending on your interest. In a similar note, in Excel also the third subject becomes food technology and the fourth can be chosen out of microbio, biochemistry, zoology, botany etc. 
talking about the exam pattern now exam pattern and uh, which mainly and chiefly includes uh, the total number of marks and questions is also similar in both of them that is 100 marks and 65 questions in each paper but the mass distribution or the way in which it is distributed among the four subjects becomes different in XC 15 marks is dedicated to general aptitude and 15 marks to maths 35 marks is each dedicated to food technology and the fourth subject that is your optional subject in the case of Excel 15 marks is dedicated to the general aptitude 25 marks to chemistry 30 marks each to food tech and the optional subject which you are going to choose Talking about the cutoff, see cutoff is important criteria is why you don't know that if you are giving the exam, you have to obtain the minimum marks of the exam, then you will prepare in which way. So I have prepared an analysis and the cutoff is based on general or other categories and in short term it is based on your category. If you are belonging to a particular category, say general, OBC, SC or ST, you will have a different cutoff. But for example and just for representation, I am using the cutoff for general category category for the last three years that is 2020, 2019 and 2018 and for XC it has been 26, 26.7 and 31.5 as you can see on your screens and for Excel it has been like 31.7, 36.7 and 29.9 for the previous consecutive years. Now talking about the syllabus, see I cannot uh, you know confine the syllabus of gate to particular topics. Uh, it is generally all the general topics which you study in your college on under uh, or in a graduation program. For example, if you talk about general aptitude, you need to take a grip over uh, things like probability, reasoning, pictorial representation, pattern finding, etc. For mathematics or chemistry, the subjects will remain same: integration, differentiation, logarithm, or uh, for uh, for the other side, you can have uh, like poly organic physical inorganic all the components and uh, for food technology specifically you need to have a good grip over the core subjects like uh, food preservation food processing then uh, food plant uh, sanitation etc the basic and the most important thing which people sought for uh, giving gate is the college or your master's degree so definitely the gate opens the door for various reputed organizations and institutes like iits it khadakpur guwahati delhi etc nits for example nit dorkela situated in the eastern state of odisha then niftem the premium institute for food technology located at sonipat haryana also one important benefit which the gate uh, qualifiers get is that various PSUs or public, public sector overtakings or undertakings utilize the score of gate for recruitment of application for different posts which way they produce. Uh, uh, for example, Indian Oil, Gale, that is Gas Authority of India Limited, Hindustan Petroleum, all these PSUs look for your gate score if you want to apply for their particular post. Right. So this was all about our uh, today's video in which I discussed from scratch about gate examination, what is it, when is it conducted, who conducts it, its eligibility criteria, two types of gate that is XC and XL, the exam pattern, cutoff, syllabus and the colleges uh, which people look after giving the gate. Still if you face any doubt you can drop your doubts down into the comment section or mail us and visit our website. Keep watching the channel and give support to us. Thank you.